Yes. Good afternoon, all professors, um, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone here. Uh, my name is Pinanya Pinitgit, and my uh, corresponding author is Assistant Professor Palok Jakawit Hanglong. It's my pleasure to be presenting in front of you guys today, and my business topic is the validity and reliability of a questionnaire on atopic dermatitis recognition and management behaviors among medical practitioners in Thailand. So let's start with the introduction. So atopic dermatitis is one of the most uh, common chronic and relapsing inflammatory disease worldwide. It is a complex disease that needs regular medical treatment and also a lifelong lifestyle modification. It has a great impact on the quality of life mentally, physically, and financially. And it, it affects the individual with AD and also the surrounded family members. It is essential for medical practitioners to be able to recognize and manage the disease in order to prevent complications and minimizing flares. But limited numbers of study has conducted and the results show that the knowledge and practices of majority of doctors, especially DPs, weren't sufficient. Identification of the existing knowledge and management behavior of doctors can unveil the deficient area and thus would aid in further improvement of atopic dermatitis education. So up to our current knowledge, there is no study conducted in Thai population before. So we developed a set of questionnaires to access Thai medical practitioners disease recognition and management behavior based on the Thai and Asian clinical practice guidelines. In order to utilize this questionnaire in the general population, it is important to develop, validate, and characterize the reliability tools. So the objective of the study is to describe the development, validation, and reliability of the questionnaire assessing on atopic dermatitis recognition and management behavior among Thai medical practitioners. For the setting of this questionnaire, it is a cross-sectional online questionnaire-based study conducted across Thailand during February 2021. A questionnaire utilized the online data collection tool Google Form and a link and QR code were distributed in a closed medical doctor related groups in Thailand using online platforms such as LINE, Facebook, and other social media applications. For the participants, uh, the first 30 participants who responded in the questionnaire were chosen as the sample group. The participants were eligible for inclusion if they were Thai, male or female, general practitioners, dermatologist, allergist, immunologist, uh, pediatrician, and internal medicine uh, included their resident and fellows who practice medicine in Thailand and had an ability to read and understand Thai. For ethical consideration, the ethical clearance was obtained from the Ethical Review Board of Faculty of Medicine of Thammasat University and the procedure were in compliance with the Helsinki Dec Declaration and the Delmon Report. So before the data collection, the participants were given the same formal instruction and done the informed consent. We only included the result from those who signed the consent form and the confidentiality and anonymity of the collected participant data were respected. For the questionnaire development, uh, after reviewing the literature and practical guidelines related to atopic dermatitis and questionnaire development, the questionnaire was then decided to include 35 questions divided into major sections apart from demographic data. The first one you see here is the disease recognition part, which consists of primary lesion, lesion based on recognition of iconography and causes and exacerbating factors of AD. In this section, uh, it consisted of 15 items and each item had three possible responses. Each correct answer scores one point and the maximum knowledge score was 15 points. And the second part each is the management behavior, which consists of diagnosis, assessment of clinical association and quality of life and medical treatment and general care of AD. The total section consisted of 20 items. The responses were on five point letter scale. The scale was between never to always. The maximum management score was 100. To construct a questionnaire, the content validity of the questionnaire was reviewed and examined by a panel of five experts in dermatology. 
Each question was reviewed and selected based on the clarification of the wording, interpretation, and accuracy of the objective measured. Each expert was informed of the objective of the study and instructed to give plus one to the item that reached the criteria, zero to the item that they were unsure of, and minus one to the item that they did not reach the criteria. After the result were collected, the item objective conference or IOC of each item was calculated. Each item must have the IOC greater than or equal to 0 0.5, and the items that had a score lower than 0 0.5 were then revised according to the suggestion. Those revisions were repeated in the process until all the items IOC were greater than 0 0.5. And the internal uh, consistency assess the correlation between the tested item that I intended to measure the same construct. The questionnaire reliability was tested internal consistency with 30 randomly selected participants. Combat Shafa was chosen to calculate the reliability of the questionnaire. And the Combat Shafa ranges from zero to one. The combat alpha score greater than or equal to 0 0.7 is considered as sufficiently reliable. Test retest reliability measure, measure the consistency of the measured items over time. Two sets of questionnaires were given to the same participants at least three to five days apart. The participants were not informed in advance of the second administration and the result of the two sets of responses were used to calculate the correlation between the two testing using a Pearson correlation coefficient. The Pearson correlation co coefficient ranges from no correlation, which is zero, to perfect correlation, which is one. And the statistical analysis, we use the uh, SPSS version 26. And as for the results, first part is the demographic data. A total of 36 medical doctors completed the questionnaire of the first test session. Of them, 30 medical doctors completed the questionnaire twice. All of the 36 participants, 26 per, were female and 10 were male. And majority of the participants were general practitioners and had a working experience of fewer than five years. For content validity, uh, content validity was conducted by five experts after the first round of content validation, one item from experiences, three items from disease recognition, and one item from management behavior was scored lesser than 0 0.5. Those items were adjusted ac according to the expert recommendation. And the second round of the validation was then conducted for the adjusted item. The final result shows that the content validities for all three main sections were 0 0.97 for demographic data, and 0 0.84 for disease recognition and 0 0.94 for management behavior. The overall IOC of the test was 0 0.91, which means they were acceptably concurrent with the conjecture of the study. The internal consistency reliability was conducted using Convatch Alpha on the 30 randomly selected patients. The Convatch Alpha value of 0 0.9 considered as excellent, 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 considered as good, 0.6 to 0.7 considered as acceptable and 0.5 to 0.6 considered as poor and lesser or equal to 0.5 is unacceptable. The converge alpha coefficients of each main section were 0.59 for disease recognition, 0.85 for management behavior, and the overall questionnaire converge alpha coefficients were 0.87, which means the questionnaire had a good correlation between the items. Test retest reliability was done on a 30 randomly selected patient who answered the questionnaire twice. The correlation between the score on the first and the second test testing was calculated using Pearson correlation. And Pearson correlation coefficient value was shown as uh, 0.921 as very high, 0.7 to 0.9 as high, 0.5 to 0.7 as moderate, 0.3 to 0.5 as low, and 0.3 to 0 as ne uh, no correlation. And the result is shown here. Uh, for the first part, disease recognition, the result was 0.85, and for management behavior was 0.9. 
the overall questionnaire for vision was 0.92, which means the questionnaire had a very high positive population. Now um, into the discussion. Atopic dermatitis is a burden to the life of the sufferer due to its chronic and unpredictable cause, not only to the patients themselves, but also their related family members. It is essential for medical practitioners as a person who closely gives professional care and advice to be able to adequately treat and manage the disease. For a medical practitioner to do so, the assessment um, of the current knowledge and management was needed. A few studies were conducted on the medical practitioner's knowledge, attitude, and management regarding AD, and the results showed that the majority of doctors had insufficient to moderate level of knowledge to recognize, diagnose, and manage as far as AD is concerned. With success of poor quality of care delivered to what? The AD patients. However, to our knowledge, such study had never been conducted in Thai population before. Therefore, this study was conducted in form of questionnaire with the goal to assess the knowledge and management of the medical practitioners in Thailand. However, before doing so, the assessment tool must be validated and had a good level of reliability to be able to utilize in the general population. Uh, our study demonstrated that each main section and the overall test IOC value was high. We suggested that the items in the questionnaire had an acceptable level of congruence with the objective of the study. The test retest reliability result of each section of the questionnaire showed high and very high, while the overall questionnaire result was very high. The findings suggested that questionnaire items can be used to measure both knowledge and management consistently over time. The overall compact alpha value was 0 0.87, suggesting a good correlation between the item in the questionnaire to accurately measure the objective of the study. However, the alpha score in the disease recognition section alone was poor, which is 0 0.59, but this might be due to the number of items in the disease recognition sections. <clears throat> it, as a in this section, uh, we, we divided the questions into like three smaller subgroups. And as we all know that the alpha value is sensitive to the number of the item on the test, a higher converge alpha can be achieved by increasing the number of questions. Also, a redundancy of the questions would produce the same effect, while a lower number of questions on the test would reflect a lower value of the alpha, meaning that adding more equations would therefore increase the alpha. However, increasing the length of the questionnaire might not always be a solution, as many participants might get fatigued and be less likely to complete the questionnaire with accuracy. Vesta research suggested that about 20 minutes of web-based survey and five minutes when mobile phone are contacted Due to the COVID-19 situation in Thailand, our main method of questionnaire distribution was via social media. Undeniably, a great number of participants would therefore use the mobile phone to complete the questionnaire form. Therefore, assessing the converge alpha as a whole might as well be suitable in this kind of situation. Conclusion. This re uh, the result of this study proved that the questionnaire on atopic dermatitis was a valid and reliable tool to assess the subpopulation ability to recognize and manage the disease. And this set of questionnaires can be implemented in the general population. This questionnaire will help to identify an aspect where it might not be um, sufficient. And hopefully it would further lead to an effort put into an improvement of knowledge and management regarding atopic dermatitis of medical practitioners in Thailand. Hence, optimizing the management toward the patient and, and improving their quality of life. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So any comment from the participants? So, if I mean that if any any if general, general people, people who have gotten the CDC and 
if they are afraid, afraid that, that you, you cut a topic, dermatitis, they should go to the dermatologist. Is that correct? correct? Uh, normally, when the patient present at the at the OPD, uh, I think usually the patient wouldn't know that they have dermat uh, atopic dermatitis initially. They would just mm -hmm. with an eczema, but they don't know what kind they are. And they usually they would go to GP first because GP would be the first one who came into contact with them. So generally, general practitioners is the first person who will encounter the patient and send mm -hmm. the patient into like more, you know, specialized team. Oh, I'm just wondering about the the participant who join you, the thirty one, the, the thirty person. How can you recruit them? Uh, for the participant, I recruited them from a close medical group. So I sent like the informed consent and the 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 questionnaire form into a close medical uh, group, which is consists of like you know all of the doctors in Thailand. So I assumably uh, the in that group is included um, doctors from all over Thailand, but I cannot say for sure which part they come from. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the part yeah, of the group. Uh, like that. I just I just select the first thirty participant who answered in the questionnaire form. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any more questions or comments? No, thank you very much for your nice presentation. Thank you.